Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to calculate amortized costs on the bond using effective interest rates. According to IFRS 9, financial instruments are measured at either amortized cost or at fair value. Fair value could be fair value through PL or fair value through other comprehensive income or CI. But in this video, we're going to focus on the amortized cost component. Of financial instrument measurement. Also, according to IFRS 9, a debt instrument is measured at amortized cost only if it meets both of the following conditions. First condition is that the asset is to be held within a business model whose objective is achieved by both collecting contractual cash flows, that is, payment of principal and interest, which is the SPPI uh, test. Interest income is calculated using effective interest rate method and is recognized in profit or loss. An amortized cost instrument is assessed for expected credit loss impairment, which is outside the scope of this video. All right, so we are given a bond information. We have a bond maturing in 25th, uh, 2025 uh, for a face value of 500 million and a consideration paid of 706 million. We have the claim price of 138 and dirty price of 141. So the difference with the claim price and the dirty price is the accrued interest element because after the issue date, the bond holder bought into this bond years after, which was uh, 2021. So the trade date for the buy was on the 10th of March and it settled on the 12th of March. On the 12th of March, your company has now bought into this bond and then is entitled to receive future coupon payment up until 28th of December 2025 where it also received the face value of the bond all right so we have already prepared our schedule dates from the date of settlement which is the 12th of March we'll determine what the next coupon payment is and subsequent coupon payment dates up until maturity which is the 28th of December 2025 all right so we've calculated our various coupon days as to how much coupon is going to be received by your company right also for the purpose of interest income calculation we'll determine the period days to calculate uh, interest income due based on effective interest rates so this is simply the last coupon payment date less the settlement date and the next coupon payment date less the last coupon payment date so on and so forth all right so I uh, haven't given this data. There are also missing data that we need to calculate, like what is the claim price amount? We're given the claim price itself to be 138 Naira. So what is this in terms of the amount or the value for the claim price? We have a formula to help us do that, which is our step one. It says the face value divided by the power value of 100 multiplied by the claim price. So this is equals to the face value of 500 million divided by our power value of 100 Naira then multiply by the claim price of 138 Naira as given. Okay. So we have a claim price of 690 million. Mind you, the face value is 500 million. So it's driving to somewhere that we would have a bond premium. All right. But we'll see how to calculate that as we move along. Then, of course, the consideration is the amount you pay for the bond, which is simply the 706 million Naira. All right. Then we have our last coupon payment day. So the last coupon payment day is the date that the initial bond holder received the coupon payment before your company bought into that bond, right? So to help us do that, since we already know when our next coupon payment will be, which is on the 28th of June, 2021, we can walk back to determine what our last coupon payment is using the Excel function of e-date. We say equals to e-date, the last, the uh, next coupon payment, which is 28th of June, 2021, comma. So walk back in six months, minus six months, close our bracket. So our last coupon payment before your company bought into this bond was on the 28th of December, 2020. So you can see from our, our date schedule, you can see that coupon payment falls within June and December each year, right? So if it starts in June, the next coupon payment will be in December and after December, back to June, so on and so forth. So our last coupon payment date was on the 28th of December, 2020, and your company bought into this bond on the uh, 
10th of March 2021, which settled on the 12th of March. So from this, we can we can determine the interest accrued dates days before your company bought into this bond. This is simply your settlement date, which is the 12th of March, less the last coupon payment date, which is the 28th of December 2021. So you can see that the bondholder has held this bond for 74 days since after the last coupon payment date up until when your company bought into this bond, which means that that 74 days interest accrued interest amount needs to be added back to whatever the uh, the initial bondholder is going to sell to your company and that will also form part of the consideration amount that the company paid all right so we'll see how all of this pans out so now that we've determined what the accrued interest this is the next is to then calculate what is the accrued interest amount so we have a very simple formula to help us do that which is our face value multiplied by the coupon rate multiplied by the interest accrued days and divided by our day count of 365 all right equals to face value of 500 million multiplied by the coupon rate of 15.7 percent multiplied by the accrued interest in days which we've calculated with 74 days then divided by our day count of 365 days 365 press the input key so our accrued interest for seven for 74 days which your company needs to pay to the initial bond holder is 15.958 million all right so to now determine what the discount or premium is is simply equals to your concentration of 706 million less the face value of 500 million then less the accrued interest which is 15 million so you can see that the bond has a premium of 190 million so you can simply see see this from the face value and the um, claim price that is being paid. So you're supposed to receive 500 million at maturity, but you're paying more amount for that 500 million in excess of 190. So that 190 is the premium on this bond. So this we've been able to determine this from that formula. All right, then our day count is 365, but for leap years, you can use the 366 day count, all right? So we can see that play out when we calculated our coupon for the year 2024. So 2024 is a leap year. So other years we've calculated our interest income using 365. But in 2024, we determined our coupon to be on 366 day count. Coupon due on the 28th of June and that of 28th of December or based on 366 day count, right? Where other periods were based on 365. That being said, the next thing for us to do is to calculate our schedule for the amortized cost. Mind you, we don't have our effective interest rate at the moment, so this remains blank. And we're coming to calculate our next step, which is step eight, which is the interest income. So our formula for interest income is simply the amortized cost brought forward multiplied by the, the effective interest rate, which is blank, multiplied by the period days and divided by the day count. So since we've determined our premium, on this bond we we'll bring it down here as unamortized premium of 190 million then of course our claim price for the amortized cost is 690 million all right so you station these two here uh, in the meantime then you come in to determine what your interest income will be like we've said interest income is equals to the unamortized uh, the amortized cost brought forward of 690 million multiplied by the effective interest rates which is blank so I'll select sell f17 i'm going to freeze it f4 on my keyboard multiplied by the uh, period days of 180 days then divided by my 365 all right so because i don't have a rate in there my interest income is zero but again uh, we're not too concerned at the value now because we're trying to build a structure that will then apply the, the effective interest rates using go seek in excel so i have calculated my interest income the face value multiplied by the effective interest rates multiplied by the uh, day period days divided by day count of 365 i can simply drag down all right so that's fine so the next thing to do is to determine the amortization change we simply the difference between this interest income amount and your coupon so i'll say equals to the interest income less 
the coupon and I can drag down so the next is to so this chain then helps us to unwind this unamortized premium because this on this premium needs to be reduced to zero at maturity date so the amortization chain will help us to unwind this unamortized premium to zero up until the maturity date of 28th of December 2025. So the formula to help us do that is equals to the unamortized uh, premium brought forward of 190 million plus the amortization change. All right. So I can drag down so it reduces. So by the time we fix our effective interest rate, this turns down to zero. Then uh, to determine our amortized cost, which is the uh, premium we paid, which is 690, this needs to be uh, reduced down to 500 million, which we will then receive at maturity. So to help us do that, I'll do equals to the 690 plus the amortization change, right? And I'll drag down. So at the moment, we are not having 500 million on this last uh, sell. Currently, we have 296 because we have not fixed our effective interest rate, right, using the goal seek. So to start our goal seek, our formula, our sale should be on this last amount, 296 million, all right, and then go to your data ribbon, then look for what if analysis, then choose goal seek. So the set cell is the 296 million, which is cell J31. Then set this value to 500 million. All right. Yeah, to be sure we get it correctly. Yeah, 500 million by changing the effective interest rate cell, which is F17. And I'll press the OK button and watch how this number transformed to the face value of 500 million at maturity. So I'll press OK and see the magic happen. So we've got our target value of 500 million and the current value now becomes 500 million. OK. So you can see that our, our bond premium has been unwind over the period to zero at maturity. Right, and we we'll have our face value of 500 million at maturity, which means that on this date, after you receive the coupon payment, the face value also gets paid to you as well. And in between these dates, we have our amortization cost, all right, which is being reduced from 690 down to 500 million. And our interest income that we receive yearly is also calculated for us on the interest income column, all right. So uh, just to quickly reconcile our, de our dirty price, we can see that the dirty price is given, which is the 14, the 141 Naira. Then the clean price we're given as well as 138. And the interest price is simply the difference between the dirty price minus the clean price. Right, so you have 3.19. Alternatively, you can do that by saying equals to the Accrued interest amount divided by your face value multiplied by 100, or which is the power value, and you have similar 3.19. So that's how you reconcile that your dirty price, clean price, and your accrued interest price, they all make sense. So back to our amortization schedule, we can see that our effective interest rate is 7.05. Our, our bond premium 190, which is then amortized up until zero on maturity and on maturity we're receiving the face value of 500 million so thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video bye